We're good. Ready? I think so. <laughs> Hello, my name is Fraser Lemon. I'm an assistant estimator. I'm Holly Satchel. I'm an apprentice site manager. I'm Bradley McLaughlin. I'm an apprentice quantity surveyor. My name's Lucy. I'm an apprentice site manager and I have been an apprentice for just over three years. An apprenticeship I can't recommend enough because everything you do at school aids you with your work and vice versa. In any industry, an apprenticeship allows you to gain the experience and understanding which you need to do the job. No day is the same, and I think every day is different. Anyone that can possibly do it, an apprenticeship is the way to go. I wanted to get hands-on straight away, and I didn't want to spend time in a university, and I wanted to start earning my own money. I think an apprenticeship allowed me to do that. When you're new to a job, you think you're not going to get any responsibility and that kind of thing, but you are learning as you go, and they are giving you responsibility but still supporting you, so it's quite like a, a nice growth environment that enables you to, to grow at your own pace. It's just so beneficial. You're not just getting a degree from it, which is paid for, you're also being paid to do it, and you're learning on the job. You're coming out of your degree with no debt, four and a half, five years experience, however long your, your part-time degree has been. So although maybe that's taken a bit more time, you've got that industry experience where you've been developing. Every project I work on is slightly different. I've worked on schools, I've worked on hospitals, I've worked on a hospice. I've even worked on a chocolate factory for a small period of my time. Seeing what else can be built and how it can be built and the, me the method and time that goes into that. I think that's been a, a big enjoyment. The team I work with, it's all one big family. Although you've got your project teams, it's one big team as a whole and everyone wants to see everyone work together and grow and thrive. I think as well you grow not just in work but also outside of work if you enjoy what you do on a day to day and I enjoy and I love what I do on a day to day so I'm just a happier person in and out which just makes my Days even better, really. I'm going to pass you this, hit the play button. I want you to watch it all, and then I've got some questions about it. Okay. So, you just need to hit the play button. Ooh. So, press play, and then. Hi, my name's Billy Satchel and I'm an apprentice site manager with Morgan Sindor. Hi, I'm an apprentice quantity surveyor. Hi, my name's Lisa Gresham Hill and I'm the new apprentice site manager for Morgan Sindor. My name is Rosa Lemon and I'm an apprentice quantity surveyor at Morgan Sindor. Do I have to watch this? This is my first day on site. <laughs> this then led me on to today. I'm spending the next year talking to you about what it's really like. That is so mad to watch that. <laughs> that was <laughs> something else, I'm telling you. Even just looking at it three years ago. It's a long time ago, that one. <laughs> it feels like it. <laughs> oh, that was a bit of a hard watch, I think. Past Fraser had a bit of a script, which he stuck to a little bit too much. But um, it's cool to watch it because it's only three years ago now but it seems like yesterday in a weird way. I have grown a tremendous amount. That's like, I can't, I don't even think that's word for it really. I think when you look back on it, part of you is proud as much as I've got a lot more le uh, to learn. I wouldn't be expecting to sit here three years where I am right now, so it's really cool to look back. I was like really excited to learn and I did think you know, everyone thinks, oh, maybe in a couple of years' time I won't, it'll be a bit old and stuff like that, but I feel the same now as I did in that video, like, still as excited to learn. I've just learned so much from it. It's, um, it's amazing. I know they use the phrase leaps and bounds, but this really is true. Like, um, that first week I knew very little about the construction industry, and although I've still got a lot of learning to do, um, my knowledge has increased twofold. It's fun as well, like every team you're with, it's new people, it's genuine friends that you've made, it's new experiences, it's different sites. has helped me grow is not only my knowledge but as a person I've become more um, confident, I've, I've grown 
in so many ways. And I think that's the, the beauty of construction as well. So, yeah, I think proud and, you know, there's still, still a lot to do. So, yeah, that is what makes me smile, just coming to work and enjoying what I do. I was always told at school to go like a certain direction, but it wasn't necessarily what I loved. And so I wasn't passionate about it and didn't really work that hard at it. Um, but as soon as I found engineering and construction and something I loved, I found that because I was passionate about it, I worked a lot harder at it. Yeah, it depends what kind of things you're interested in, really. I mean, I've always been a maths person, so it's been uh, one of those things I've always been interested in numbers. I was probably like a lot of students and I sat there at the back of the class thinking, when will I ever use this? in the real world and surprisingly you do. All sorts really, science, there's so much science in just placing objects into the ground, you know, making sure that um, materials stick or materials don't um, combust of each other. Then I'd also say maybe geography can come into that as well. Using English on a day-to-day -day basis, you're writing emails, you're communicating with people. You could also link a couple of languages in there where you get some people that can't speak English come onto your site and then you've got to try and gauge how you're going to communicate with them. It might sound like I'm just saying it, but absolutely everything. It does all come to fruition eventually. I think the rotation scheme is such a crucial thing to do because not only I think I'm a bit of a special case actually moving discipline, but I became a well-rounded person. I understood the different challenges and the different disciplines. And having that rotation has made me understand, you know, what both sides do and how they impact each other. I've learned how an engineer could help out a quantity surveyor with um, a site level survey and a cut and fill exercise. When I did those six months in other rotations, as important as it was to make sure that, yeah, site management is what I want to do, which obviously it is, getting that appreciation of other roles because you're all working together. And I think that's the, the biggest thing I've got from the rotation scheme is an understanding of what each person is bringing and how you can bring that all together. And that way there's so much more, you know, effective communication and you gel together better and you work better as part of a project team because you understand each other's roles and also how you can help each other and what you need from that person. Understanding what everyone does is a great way to make sure the team, you know, stick together. For example, when I was working in quantity surveying, I now know what I need from a quantity surveyor as a site manager, but also how I can make their job easier. When I went into Estimate, and I weren't expecting to come out wanting to be an estimator, but it just happened that way. I understood, I learned the job role. I, I had good mentors to teach me what an estimator does, and I just enjoyed it so much. I didn't really want to leave the rotation, and I'm now here as an assistant estimator, so it obviously worked. It's massively important because you can get stuck in a job that you don't love and you don't have a purpose. You know, putting something up there can just change, it can change someone's life. I've done something good, I've, I've affected someone in a positive way. Every day is different. You're building projects which are changing people's lives. You're working with people of different diversity. We've also done hospitals and it just it can benefit people's lives without us even knowing. You actually see that you are making a difference. You're making life change and impact on the people that are using these facilities. It's definitely beneficial and makes you feel happy for everything you do. When you wake up and you've got kind of a job that you don't enjoy and there's no purpose to it, why, why would you want to go to work? But if you know that perhaps you're a bit tired but you're making an impact on however many people's lives, it's just you can't beat it. I definitely just love this industry and I know that's what I want to do. I think just to keep keep getting better and keep moving forward, keep moving up. As high as, as, as I can possibly go. We are always learning on the job, um, on a day to day. I think I want to continue developing as I am and continue learning and becoming a 
well-rounded estimator. Running my own job would be a, would be a nice one from a QS point of view. Just achieving things like that would be really would be really good. And I think when I get to that stage, you know, that is my main aim and objective. However, along the way, I would love to succeed. You know, I'd love to be a project manager and one day hopefully run an, an area. I've just fallen in love with it as a career as well and I definitely see myself making a good career out of it so watch this space for director. <laughs>